Bismillah Rahman Rahim. Assalamu Alaikum, dear students. Uh, this is the part three of the general bacteriology MCQs. MCQs number eighty one to one twenty will be discussed in this part. These MCQs mainly focus on the bacteriology section and very helpful for different types of exams. Option, uh, question number 81 is all of the following structures of bacteria contain are made of made of protein except in which a constant structure is see here just my proteins name him to plasmid ribosomes pillai and cell membrane may say plasmid uh, as we know it is an extra chromosomal circular DNA it is not a protein so best answer is the plasmid the most commonly encountered bacteria are roughly spherical. The microbiological term describing this shape, this spherical, is the coccus. Coccus mainly the spherical bacteria, round bacteria. Name the part of uh, this microorganism using the nomenclature system, Mycobacterium tuberculosis. According to the binomial nomenclature, Mycobacterium tuberculosis, which option is the correct? Epitherium is a one cell organism that does not have a distinct nucleus it is not according to the binomial nomenclature mycobacterium is the pre, uh, uh, presence of uh, sorry a presomus or tuberculosis is the specific po, uh, post mycobacterium is the epithet and the tuberculosis is the specific genus mycobacterium is a genus and the tuberculosis is the specific epithet so best answer answer is the d because uh, the first part is always is the genus and second part is the species one of the way to determine the size cell morphology and grouping of bacterial cell is to use a dash technique so it is mainly the simple stand technique cloudiness is a sign that bacteria have a grown in um, after inoculation and incubation the tube of a newton broth tube of a newton broth we see the cloudiness the significance of the plasma membrane is that plasma membrane is the outer membrane uh, uh, is the most important membrane of the every type of cell it is the very it is the membrane that shared in all type of cells so the best answer is all of these are the significance of the plasma membrane it selectively allows some molecule to pass into the organisms it prevents movement of molecule out of the organism it is a site of protein synthesis in case of the um, prokaryotes so all of these are the best answer why it is called the site of the protein synthesis because in case of prokaryotes ribosomes are attached with the plasma membrane Another common bacterial shape is that of rod, often called rod shaped bacteria, mainly in the microbiology, these are called the bacillus. What is a plasmid? We have discussed in the 81 MCQ. Plasmid is a self replicating segment of double stranded DNA. In bacterial cells, ribosomes are packed into the cytoplasmic matrix and also loosely attached to the plasma membrane. What is the function of ribosomes? The main function of ribosome is the protein synthesis, site of the protein synthesis. Plasmids are important to the genetics of many bacteria. This is because as plasmid is extra chromosomal DNA. So what is the main function of the plasmid amongst these? All of these are so all of the above are the function of the plasmid. They are inherited from one generation to the next. Yes, they may carry genes that give their host a selective advantage in case of uh, the Mm, toxin productions they can render bacteria the drug resistance yes they bear the to uh, drug resistant genes all of the above so all of the above is the best answer poly beta hydroxy butyrate inclusion bodies these are the uh, in inclusion bodies are the granules mainly present in the bacteria these inclusion bodies store carbon for energy and biosynthesis movement of bacteria toward chemical attractants and away from the repellents is called the very simple as a chemotaxis chemotaxis is the movement of bacteria towards the chemical attractants and away from the repellents it is the definition of the chemotaxis gas vacuums in bacteria uh, help move the cell to optimal nutrients level gas vesicles sorry gas vesicles in bacteria help 
and the movement of the bacteria to optimal lutent level. Magnetostorm, magnetostorms in bacteria. What is the function of magnetostorms in the bacteria? These help the cell to orient in the earth magnetic field. The 70th prokaryotic ribosome consists of as the ribosome of the prokaryote is a 70th, so it has two units. One is the large subunit that is the 50th, and the small subunit that is the 30th. Best answer is the B answer 50th and the 30th. Gram positive bacteria, as we know, there are two groups on the basis of the gram standing gram positive bacteria and the gram negative bacteria. So, gram positive bacteria is the bacteria they have, they have thick layer of peptidoglycan. So, the best answer is the have multiple layer of peptidoglycan and help uh, uh, retain the crystal violet stance. Gram positive cells are all of the above are correct about the gram positive because they have the thick homogeneous cell wall, yes, have the large amount of ticoic acid, yes, do not have outer membrane, yes, all of the above are the true. The presence of D amino acids in the cross links of the peptidoglycan layer is most likely because in the peptidoglycan layer, the cross links mainly the D amino acids are present. What is the reason of the presence of these amino acids? The best answer is that most peptidases can only cleave the L amino acids. The third amino acid in the peptidoglycan cross-linking chain is either diamino pimelic acid or lysine because this amino acid must have a free amino group for peptide bond formation. Have free amino group for peptide bond formation because for peptide bond formation there must be a free amino group on um, at one amino acid and the carbox carboxyl 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 group at the other um, amino acid so the third is the lysine or diamino pyrimelic acid because of the free uh, amino groups the outer membrane of gram negative cells is more permeable than the plasma membrane because Poron proteins establish holes in the outer membrane because of the presence of the poron proteins outer membrane is more permeable than the plasma membrane. The next MCQ is the most important role of the prokaryotic cell wall is to it is a function of the prokaryotic cell wall. It protect the cell from osmotic pressure. Maintain the shape of the cell. Yes, it is a function. Prevent ions from the diffusing away from the cell. Block the effect of antibiotics like penicillin. But the most important function that help in the survival of the probiotic cell that is the protect the cell from osmotic pressure. When flagella are distributed all around a bacterial cell, the arrangement, arrangement is called very simple. It is a, it is a peritricus flagella. Which of the following is not true about the capsules and slime layer? Capsule that is a layer surrounding the cell wall uh, in some bacteria, to which, uh, which is not the function of the capsule. So they are required for bacteria to grow normally in culture. These are not required for bacteria to grow normal in the culture. All other are the functions mean they consist of secreted material laying outside of the bacterial cell wall. They can prevent desiccation of bacterial cells, yes. They help bacteria resist phagocytosis by macrophages, yes, but they are not required for the growth. Fimri, that is a projection uh, in the gram, mainly in gram negative bacteria, it helps uh, in the attachment of the bacteria to various surfaces. A slippery outer covering in some bacteria that protects them from phagocytosis by host cell, that is the capsule. A shiny sticky colony of Streptococcus pneumonia is likely to be. If the colony is shiny, it is sticky, it must be encapsulated and if it is encapsulated, it must be pathogenic. A bacterial cell wall does all of the following except cell wall having all of the following function gives shape and rigidity to the cell yes 
is the site of action for some antibiotics yes penicillin and cephalosporin mainly act on the cell wall is associated with some symptoms of disease yes gram negative bacterial cell wall uh, produce the endotoxins protect the cell from phagocytosis no it is not the function so the best answer is the protect the cell from the phagocytosis means cell wall of the bacteria does not protect the cell from phagocytosis the minimum distance at which a microscope is capable of distinguishing two points as a separate it is a resolving power the genetic information of bacteria is stored in which uh, molecule in one circular chromosome located in the cytoplasm so the genetic material of the bacteria is the dna which of the following are found primarily in the intestine of humans intestine of humans are rich in the facultatively anaerobic gram negative rods differences between eukaryotic and prokaryotic cell includes all of the following except which is not the difference between the prokaryotic and eukaryotic prokaryotic cell have no genetic material prokaryotic cell must have genetic material there is no organism no cell uh, in the world that have that can survive without the genetic material so they, this is not the good difference between the prokaryotic and eukaryotic organisms all other are the uh, differences eukaryotic cells have mitochondria but prokaryotic have cell no mitochondria prokaryotic cells have more complex cell wall yes it is made up of peptidoglycan eukaryotic cells have cilia and flagella with the complex texture yes which of the following genera is an anaerobic gram negative rods so the best answer is the bacteroids are anaerobic gram negative rods which of the following characterizes, uh, characterizes the domain bacteria as we know there are three domains uh, one is called the domain archaea second is called the domain eukarya um, and the third is the bacter, uh, domain bacteria domain bacteria is characterized by the prokaryotic cell it is a prokaryotic cell no membrane bound nucleus no membrane bound organelles the ester linkages in the phospholipids while in case of the archaea and the eukaryotes there are the ether linkages if two organisms have similar ribosomal rna sequences you can conclude all of the following except they will both ferment lactose it is not the same uh, similarities uh it is another function of the cell having the similar ribosomal rna which of the following do you expect to be most resistance to high temperatures high temperature mainly resistance by the spore forming bacteria it is the bacillus subtilis staphylococcus and streptococcus can be easily differentiated um, in the laboratory by which of the following it is mainly differentiated by growth in the high salt concentration staphylococcus can tolerate the high salt concentration while streptococcus cannot tolerate the high salt concentration which of the following is not an enteric amongst these campylobacter is not an enteric which of the following is not a recognized cause of the diarrhea enterococcus faecalis is not responsible for the diarrhea which of the following microorganism is not responsible for urinary tract infections among these bacteria flagellus is not responsible for urinary tract infections all the other are responsible for uti this is the last mcq of the part 3 of general bacteriology so uh, the coagulase test is done to differentiate to mainly it is used to differentiate the staphylococcus aureus from the staphylococcus epidermidis or, or the staphylococcus so the best answer is the staphylococcus aureus from the staphylococcus epidermidis thank you so much keep watching uh, biology learning zone in the next lecture uh, we will discuss more mcqs on the bacteriology microbiology and medical microbiology